Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Let's make a quick sound test one more time and we'll get going. Charles told me that we had the visual, so we should be good. It's good to see everyone. My name is Mark Nicholas. I'm the uh, founder of the Power Indicator and Day Trading Zones. I've been a trader just like you guys for 30 years. Worked in prop firms, hedge funds, and for most of my life, I've been trading my own money. Those events are rare. Usually we do them once a month, twice a month to help you master the tools, entry, exit rules, you know, based on real money, real account without false promises. You know, this is for education purposes. The accounts are my accounts or the accounts of our traders. You know, it's not a promise that you will achieve that. You know, there's no BS promises. Seeing is believing. You will see that those tools are very, very, very powerful, everybody. They are very helpful. They are a great map to add to your GPS in addition to your free probability box rule of third. We have the premium tools and we'll show you how we overlay probability on probability to give you the of a higher percentage of success. You know, again, this business is all about probabilities. It's all about mindset. It's all about discipline and size management, account management. Size, I will show you some tips and tricks that I've learned with uh, blood, tears, and successes over the years. I've done this business for 30 years. I'm 52 years old. You know, I have kids just like you guys. You know, uh, four boys, actually. This is three, you know, between 19 and 27. So I've been there, done that. So we are going to focus on charts. We are going to focus on principles for those who are new into the community, I urge you to go on our two hub of knowledge, obviously the YouTube channel for the power indicators. The latest video was a trading SPY options, $12,000 case study from real accounts, where we go over the entry, the exit rules that we saw uh, at that particular time in uh, uh, August when the market tank. If you want more related video about mindset, asset uh, uh, protection, tax efficiency, and wealth around trading, then you can go back to our uh, educational channel, which is day trading zones here. You know, we have done this for over 10 years. Here you can see some of the case studies that we've done. Small trading. And that over the years we have traded real money there's a case study for twenty six thousand dollars so one of the particular particularity of the tools is without false promises those are tools that we as founders developers in the project are trading real money with you know we in a daily basis with our private live room put our money where our mouth is and most days we do trade and invest in asset with tax efficiency and asset protection for the long term, okay? So if you look at our portfolios, they'll look something like this, okay? You will see that 70% of our portfolio are in long-term stocks, you know, with income because we sell the deep out of, in the, uh, out of the money puts, you know, for cost reductions and also income. We sell cover calls. So those are two ways I can make cash with the assets. Like having a house, the long-term stock is your house. And I get a rental check from one tenant here and another tenant here. And we grow our account with 70% of our asset in long-term. We have also some real estate uh, when the economical cycle will be better. And we are entrepreneurs. So we are very big in having assets that provide income, all right? And then there's 15, 15% left. And so 15% will be day trading, right? And 15% will be some mix of aggressive swing trading and cryptocurrencies, all right? So the, it's very important because think about it. If I blow my 15% allocation in all my day trading account, which 90% of the day traders lose money consistently, then I still have 85% of asset growing 
had a nice clip and in a safer way because, you know, the more you go from left to right, the more it's going to be safer because you have time is on your side. So let's go over the tools. And uh, of course, the tools uh, uh, on all the tools here are not showing up, but an idea of how you should proceed, especially for long-term investing. So let's look at the bottom in 2022 here, right? If you look at the bottom in 2022, if I do a replay, you are going to see two probability tables here. So visually, I have the free one, which by the way, it's uh, for people that have daily charts and over, we already are coming with the four hours, five minutes, three minutes also on the probability calculator rule of third. It's going to come hopefully within the next month. You know, we are testing, we are refining for you guys for the lower time frame. Also, there will be special, uh, some uh, a component of return on investment that I don't want to uh, explain too much because it's still private and we are still in development phase. But we are going to come up with this part of the tools in a very, very more powerful way and helpful ways for traders as well. Okay. And what you see is visually, you know, everything is in trading is a box. You know, you have support, resistance, resistance, support, support, edge are support and resistance, the edge on the calculator, rule of thirds are support and resistance. I like to divide my divisions on the calculator by third. But for instance, on the long-term calculator, which is the premium calculator in real time, right where it shows you right now that we have an 80% 80, 80 chance of a pullback in the market versus a 19% chance of continuing the long. It's pretty cool because I can change also the divisions of the calculator. If I want to refine instead of one third, one third support and resistance, I can refine here, I go to the power calculator and here I choose my long-term divisions and I can go four divisions, five divisions. And now I can have 10%, 10 divisions of 5%. So 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%. So you can see the support and resistance a lot more granularly if you are day trading. I don't use that for everything that I do pretty much I use a rule of third, uh, when it comes closer to the bottom here or to the top here, I kind of look at the first 10% here. See, those are the last 10% before the short. These are the last 10% before we rebound for a long. And I kind of look where it is so that I can see a little bit the shift of momentum, looking for inverse head and shoulder, looking for cross, recross, shift of momentum and things that are going to be very powerful to increase the probability of success. The second thing besides the calculators, this one on the left visually, you know, here you have 66% chance that the longs are coming and you are going to make money on the long side. Here you have 66% chance that the shorts are going to come and you are going to make money on the short side. Same on the calculator, those are exact calculations in real time. Now, those are visually very powerful because as you trade, as you are looking live, support and resistance, or you're looking at making an intelligent decision and mapping your trade or your investments, right? You have everything. In addition to that, you have the institutional zones. So when you do long-term trading, those are the most important zones. Those institutional zones from the probability power indicator. And by the way, when you have the uh, premium tool, you have everything. You have the calculator premiums, you have the rule of thirds, probability calculator that is going to come for the lower time frame plus the return on investment. You have all the entire suite of the probability power indicator plus the power trend. Now, I have 25 zones here, but if I am going to do long-term investment, everybody, I don't care about the 25 zones. All I care about, right, is this red zones. Those institutional zones, 
this institution also, the 100 percentage here on the premium calculator and the 100 percent chance. So I know roughly between here and here, the shorts are going to come with a high probability. And from here to here, the longs are going to come from a high probability. So let me show you an example. If we do, and this is one of the beauty of think, uh, uh, not think of swim, but trading view. You can do the replay. Look, I can show you the replay at the bottom right there. And look, look the calculator at the bottom here. And that's not really the bottom. I could go a little bit more on the left. Maybe I'll touch it. See, look at the bottom here. At the bottom of the calculator in September, right? Look what happened. We had an 87% chance of a buy. So let me show you what it means. It means right now that if I buy right there an NQ and I play the, um, how do you say, the uh, replay, look what's happening. So if you have time on your side and you have the probability on your side, you know, eventually, you know, you are going to make the money. Yeah. You know? See, because this is a huge double bottom that happened, September and boom, now you have the higher lows and look what happened. And all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. By the way, this is a 400, uh, this is a forty thousand two hundred dollars, forty thousand two hundred uh, dollar profit a contract. Of course, the problem with futures is you have the expiration, so you would have a couple of expiration. But for the overall market, if you had done the same replay on SPY, what the calculator shows you really basically is be patient, be patient. The probabilities are on your side. You know, two three months, right? Be patient. And then you see eventually, you know, after the second dip here, you know, you have three months of doing nothing and boom. So eventually you make the money. And this is why even on our new trading view, uh, trading view community page, if you go here, we had put a trade idea here. So you look for the things. And we had put a, a trade idea, you know, and you scroll and you scroll, and this was our last uh, uh, last trade idea that we posted publicly on October 17, 2022. Just to let you know, this was the bottom. This is where uh, Meta went from 100 to 90, and that's it, that was the bottom after that, all right? So this shows you that in October, started buying here. We started buying the Mara as well. Mara went from eight to 21, 22, something like that, right? So this is all based, you know, and by the way, you can see the, the post, it's uh, uh, dated publicly and everything. So all the stuff is based on what? It's based on a combination of your free calculator here, plus the premium calculators here, all right? So, if you go back to the calculator, there is another powerful tool that we use all the time. And say it's doing a trick on me because that's the fuel behind the move. Here, you have the support, resistance, and probability. Here, you have net buyer, net seller, you have the volume. Do we have institutional volume behind the move? Do we have major retail volume behind the move? Do we have minor retail? When this one plus this one plus this one matches our intellectual property, you have an up arrow for the short term, which is usually the day trading. When this one plus this one plus this one matches the intellectual property, you have an up arrow for the long term. Meaning that if this one is down and this one is up, guess what? I want to buy on retracement. If this one is down, this one is down, I want to short on, on, on resistance. So does that make sense? If this one is down and this one is up, this is a short term day trading and I need to be out by 4 p.m. I don't want to do overnight because I could take the risk of gap up since this one is long. So this is very important. I look with the moves, do I have the fuel? So like today, for instance, you can see 
the major retail volume started printing this month, this red candle. But it's not enough to reverse the monthly trend on the tool. But now, look, I do and look at the same chart on the four hour chart. This is a very, very, very difficult 10 days to two weeks in front of you for traders. And I would be you guys, I would be extremely careful. You know, if you will want to lose a lot, a lot of money, I would be extremely careful. Uh, and I, I'm very serious about that. Uh, me personally, I've done extremely well in August. You know, I published some of the stuff on social media just for you to learn some of the ways how to pay yourself. That was a very important video, how we paid ourselves $17,000. Uh, there was some SPY videos for 26K, 12K. August was fantastic. It was a, a straight down three weeks. But now you are coming to a difficult moment where the market is going to readjust, uh, gauge the FOMC. So I would be very careful because you are going to trade in a very, very difficult range here, right? And it's not impossible that we get one day or two days where the market drops all the way to 14.7 on the NASDAQ, right? Or even 14.4, I had 14.4 before, right? But those things are going to be very, very difficult to catch. And I would not do overnight shots because behind the big drop in shots between now and May, there is a lot of money on the sideline preparing for the rebound of the economical cycle, you know? There's a lot of money waiting, you know, and people are hoping and expecting a change also of politics, you know, or at least president, you know. And so all of this should make the cycle, you know, cycles are like this in the economy. You know, you have a, a, a exuberance, you have complacency, you have a, a fear, you know, and you have despair. We are somewhere between fear and despair, even though the, the market is up, a lot of people are kind of doom and gloom, right? And you don't want to miss that cycle coming back for the next four years to five years, which could be very similar to the 1920s, you know, the roaring 20s, 1922s, 20, 1929. We might be for five years of craziness going back up, where we are going to be possibly paying a very high price later on, you know, towards 2028, the next election, or 2029, I don't know. But what I know is eventually we are going to pay the price of all this printing, right? But right now, because we have been a little bit depressed for the last two years, we should be close to an economical rebound. So you should be very, very careful of the drop. And if they are big, you should get in, Get out and be very careful. August was very generous. And what I told my guys, and I tell my guys daily, reinvest the profit from August so that you can capture assets. So right now you have a lot of stocks that are pulling back. Like you look at stocks like AT&T and you look at AT&T and you look at the 20 something years of AT&T, look uh, uh, on the monthly charts. And you see that Statistically speaking, right? And I'm going to get out of here. You know, you are more towards the bottom than the top, right? So if you look at this thing, yeah, right? And you look at, since 1994, the last time we were around here was 2002, right? So, and, and this is a stock that gives you five or say 6% dividend, which is better than what the money market gives you, right? So here I see stocks like this, like a coupon, like a bond coupon. What? Because a stock like this is at a 30 year low, gives you almost 6% dividend, which is better than the, the money market. And if I close my eyes for five to seven years, I have potentially a, a, a bond that will expand, like a bond, a risk-free bond, where I should see 20, 30 price back on AT&T one day. 
And so you have the dividend to keep you patient, like Warren Buffett, or it's like having a preferred stock. And you get paid, you get paid, you get paid to be patient. And then one day you are going to collect the rebound of the company, all right? So we are looking for situations like this. We do like tech, like we did by Meta, but we did by Meta around 100. Well, now it's 300, it's 300% it's, it's over. And now don't just take my word for it. It's not just me telling you, it's just a fact of what I showed you of our post here on the ideas on uh, uh, trading view. This this was a generous post we posted about Mara buying Mara and Meta between August 2022 and October 2022. By the way, the absolute low of the market was October 2222. So we turned it by five days before the absolute lows of the market. That's pretty remarkable. You know, it's pretty remarkable. See, so the tools, you know, I can, cannot promise you anything. It's just, it is very obvious if you do a lot of replay and you exercise patience and time that eventually you are going to be right. Same on Palantir. We loaded the boat on Palantir and did extremely well on Palantir. Look, Palantir was at four, five, it's 15, right? And look at the calculator again, you know, you go back. And, and and you do the replay thing and, and you can see at the bottom, what was the percentage? You had an 84% uh, chance of buying Palantir at 750. You buy a share here, you let the replay play after you see the cross recross. It's holding also the institutional zones. It's doing that double top that the other stuff I've done, the SPY and the NQO showing you earlier. And the rest is this story. That's a triple, ah, boom. Okay. So this is tools. Those are tools. They are indeniable, powerful. If you go chart after chart after chart and exercise the replay of the behavior of the calculator visualize, they are very powerful. Now, here comes the difficulty. The difficulty is day trading. So let's see. Let's look at one of my day trading screens. Here I have a four hour chart of the ES, S&P futures, five minutes of the SPY because most days I trade, I am known to trade futures or SPY options, right? Volatility VIX with our tool SPX. Now in other charts, just to be completely, because I have many screens, I use also the ZN, the 10 years, if you want to know, those are good correlation and the DXY that does, and I have an eye on Bitcoin. And also I look at the, the some of the ETF for tech, or I keep an eye, you know, like on Apple, uh, Amazon, Nvidia. Like we have also a watch list here that we watch every day with our guys. And you can see right there, see? So we come in the morning, we'll look at what has done badly today, obviously. Some of the uh, some of the uh, cryptos, but also Shopify. You know, at the end of the day, Amazon, Palantir. But this this is our list that we use. What has done well today? PNC, Riot. You know, OIH. The all has done well. You know, so like we 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 kind of observe every day our watch list, and then we go back. Long view here, right? Long view here. What's happening with the calculator visually and the trend? And then short term view here. Now, a couple of things that we do differently on the short term when you day trade, we add more zones. So you go to the probability power indicator. I add the major and the minors. If I don't want to clutter the, 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 the charts, and I think there's a lot of charts. When I don't have a zone, like for instance, like let me show you here today, this this future, ES future. I am here and I am here. Those are the two big zones. Well, in between, I want to know if I miss something. Well, yeah, look, goes down, comes here, retest the minor zone and then tank again. Well, this doesn't look like a lot, but it's 44.65, 44.65 dumping 44.48. That's a $1,000 a contract almost. 
So I don't want to miss that pullback or at the very least, I want to be aware of that pullback. So depending on the chart, I add the major zone or the minor zone. Another thing you can do also, if you want to trade a little bit differently, is you could dump here, for instance, on the five minute chart. Another thing you could do is dump the, the uh, probability books or box roll offer, which by the way, most of you don't have access if you have the free one on the five minutes. We do because we are testing right now the lower time frame press the return calculator. But if I go here, go here, and I'm going to, you know what, let's put it invisible. If I go here, another tool I can use on the probability uh, power indicators is the cloud. I could just use the cloud, you know, and look what happened on the five minute cloud today. And you can see the, the cloud, so you don't have to, see. so now you have the calculator on the right, you have the cloud on the left. So you can, you can do it however you want. The cloud will help you for timing, obviously, when it crossed here at around 150, that was a perfect time to go short. Well, look what we started having. Institutional pressure down, major pressure down, minor pressure down, trend down, cloud changing. And now we look at our secret weapon that we use with SPY and uh, ES and NQ as I started having net seller, net seller, net seller, net seller, breaking support, net seller, net seller, net seller. So now I have fuel here. I have fuel here on the short term trend and I have confirmation of the change of momentum cross time frame and boom. And I have the calculator. So those are a lot of things that compound on each other and help you really make better decisions when you trade. Yeah. It is a, a probability stacked on probability on probability. And you can play with the tools so here. You have an elastic band as well. I don't use the elastic band at all, but some of the traders in our community likes it. You know, it's a reversion of the mean tool. Uh, I personally don't use it. I, I use either the, the power volume indicator to trade with the SPY, and I use either the cloud, the edges, the major, the minor, the institutional zone, and the power trend. And that's it, I keep it simple. Everything is visually helpful. You know, like this morning coming into this morning, I know I have to be careful of this edge touch. I have to be careful of this institutional red zone. I have to be careful of the recross of the trend line. It's game over. Like everything starts pointing down to the chief. And you can see it again. And that's the beauty. It's not just me telling you and like the usual BS gurus. You go here on the replay function and kind of assess, okay, where was that on the tool today? And you can see you had a 64% chance of a shot. And as a matter of fact, what were you doing? You were rejecting the edge of the mid part right there to the edge of the mid part. This is a, usually a great trade with SPY and ES. Edge to edge in the middle. A lot of the ES and SPY trade, you will see happen in the middle edges like this. And they help you tremendously. And then what? Look, you have confirmation with the volume indicator, guys, you know, and, you know, like you have volume indicator retesting resistance there at 145. And then guess what? You start what? Shorting. You play the short at 448 and then you play the replay and it's game over. It's game over. Look, breaks all the edges. Yeah. So hopefully this is helpful, everybody. You know, this is the stuff that, you know, tools are very helpful. They are very powerful, but we cannot promise anything. It's obvious. If you play with them, if you do the replay for long-term investing, for day trading and swing trading, that you will see the power of those tools. Now, in addition to that, I want you to understand what the tools answers. It solves really the question to trade or not to trade, you know, depending on where you are in the calculator. If you're right in the 50% middle, well, you don't have a, a huge edge. You know, keep a runner or not to keep a runner. So it helps you being patient with your trades and your size. It helps to know where to enter and exit, you know, and it helps you, you know, to compound probability on probability without false promises. It's all about calculators. It's all about probability, this business. You know, it's a mental game. It's a risk management game. Now, a couple of important stuff that I, I want you to really 
pay attention to if I can get this well of death. Uh, down is like you are professional traders. You are not gamblers. And if you are a real professional trader, so it's important every day. Do you have some type of a trade tracking metrics? How many trades have you done? What's your percentage of winners and losers? What's the number of winners that you have? How many losers? And most importantly, is cash flow. This business is like any business, cash flow. You have losses, you have profits. What's your average win? This is your average loss because that's your life expectancy. If your average win is not bigger than your average loss on your trades, you're not going to finish profitable. And sometimes I have win ratios that are very low, but still I keep a trade from one edge to one edge of the calculator, very patient with the calculator. Because it's very important that you really pay attention to that, guys. You know? Look, like for instance here, I had 25%, 25% win ratio that day. That's a terrible day. 75% lose ratio. I did, I did only 16 trades. But the four trades that I did right, I did them very, very right. I had an average win of 578 versus an average loss of 100. That means that when I win that day, I win five times bigger than when I lost. What does that tell you? And how does that tell you? It tells you that when I have the winner, I'm patient. I add to the winner, you know, and it, I am patient, right? It's all about patience. And how do you get patience and convictions in this game is when I use the tools, I go back to the tools, I am patient from here to at least here and here. I unload sell in the last third zone, right? Where I have 66% chance that the market can reverse against me. And if you can learn to be patient between point A and point B with the right mind frame, the right sizes, right? And know when to add size and when to lower size and when to get out of your losers and admit to yourself that your trade was not the right trade, that it was not a proper assumption, you'll do, you'll do okay. But it's not easy to build that second natural response to do that. It's not easy. That's why 90% of the traders lose money. And another trick I want to show you before I leave. And again, I urge you to watch this again and again and again, because as the founder of this company, I'm trying to help you guys to master those tools, but I work also with institutional side on those tools. I work with prop firms on those tools, and I just don't have the time to do it every week. I, I, I hope soon we will have someone helping us like Travis, who is a prop firm trader as well, a founded trader at River Water, to help us. To, to help you guys every week. But take advantage of those sessions when you can. And when we do them, also we don't send the full recording, we send partial recordings because then it becomes boring to listen to me the entire thing. But one very important concept that I want to finalize with you guys is this, because it's all about size, mind and tools. Mind, tools and size risk management. So look here, this is the curve of someone that goes with a big size. He goes with a big size, he doesn't get out, he keeps his big size, he suffers. Suffers the loss and the stress, right? Here is someone who goes with a small size. It's kind of flat. And finally, so he saw it, he's, he's okay here because he invests only 1% of his uh, money at risk, half of the person at risk, two person at risk, he's within the parameter of not blowing up an account. But here's what happened. Notice what happened. The first one who is going to cross the break-even point is the small account. And here's what I, so here's the goal. Pay attention to what I'm going to tell you because this is 30 years of trading. I started when I was 22 and 52. So here's the goal come, and this is a, a $10,000 class right there. When the small accounts has not incurred the big loss and the big angle, the steep angle of losses, he's the first one coming back at positive. But because I have all the cash left, because here this guy is stuck, is stuck suffering either blowing up the account or waiting and suffering the comeback from a steep angle. This guy is the first one here with cash, and he adds, and he adds, 
And he adds and add and add and add and add. This guy is going to blow up and be a great trader. And when you learn that, what I just teach you, this is a $10,000 class I just showed you, or at least 30 years of experience of trading. When you master just this concept alone, a lot of things will change. No matter how great our tools are, you know, without false promises, you have to come up to that conclusion that if you give it three months to six months, you'll never come back to any other tools in your life. You know, probably you will come to the realization how powerful they are and helpful they are without false promises of results. You know, seeing is believing, do those replays and you'll see they are incredibly helpful and they have been tested for 20 years with real money, real accounts. You can see some, unlike other tool developers, they don't show you real money. They don't trade real money. They don't do back testing. Look, I don't even know what back testing is. I'm 52 years old. I've never back tested anything in my life. The only back test that I know is blood, sweat, and tear. Go to the day trading zones YouTube channel, watch the 15K case study, the 26 case study, watch the trading concept to help you be become a better trader and watch also the video on how to pay yourself. This is a very powerful on the day trading zones, which is our educational side from the power indicators. You know, watch this video on how to pay yourself. You know, I pay myself multiple times a day, at least twice a day, so that it does not become a video again. I hope it was helpful, everybody. You know, I, I love helping traders when I can and share some of the hopefully wisdom and and, and rough experiences I had uh, uh, through my life. But, you know, when you master that, it's, it's this skill is hard, it takes two years, it takes a year of, of, of really hard work of discipline on yourself, mind control, you know, breathing, being in shape, uh, um, and money management. But it's worth it, guys, because then you reinvest most of your money into what? Assets. And like I told you, 70% of everything that I have in life are assets that are providing income, whether it's long-term stocks with deep in the money puts and calls for income or real estate or being an entrepreneur, 70% here, 15% in day trading, 15% in crypto and swing trading holding, right? which means that essentially I risk really 15% of my entire net worth at all time. Okay. I hope it was helpful, everybody. Love you all. You know, you know, just be patient with yourself. Tr believe in yourself. But it's like going in the gym. Don't expect to go and squat 325 or 250 pounds, uh, you know, the first year the first six months it takes time it takes knowledge it takes passion you need to be passionate about those charts you know if you're not passionate about the tools you're not passionate about the replay you're not passionate about doing your trading journal what do you want you know you want to be part of the 10 percent in the world you know it's like an athlete like 10 percent of the people in the world become actors famous actors 10% of the people in the world become famous sports athletes. 10% of the people in the world becomes billionaires, right? Well, there's no exception. 10% of the world traders are profitable traders. And it takes a lot of work on yourself. It takes a lot of discipline into trading only a small portion of your net worth that you can afford to lose as you become better and better. And if you are smart, if you're smart, there's nothing wrong going in the simulator three to six months. You know, that's what those funded account traders do. You know, they don't get funded before six months to two years. Most of those funded accounts never get funded anyway. Yeah. But at least it gives you practice, practice, practice be, until you become better at your futures trading or your day trading. But I am a big believer that long-term investing is is very, very forgiving. You might have bought Palantir right there at uh, $10 before it went to six fifty. But if you had trust, you had trust in the calculator and you had trust in the company, you would have never sold. As a matter of fact, what you would have done is add more shares of Palantir here. And three months, five months later, guess what? You had a 300% return in your money and your network.
This is how you become wealthy with tax defer, tax free retirement account. And it is how you do it with tax efficiency and asset protections. Hopefully that was helpful. You take care everybody and you have a great evening and I'll see you in the next live event for our power indicator, probability indicator, power box event. You take care in the meanwhile, stay tuned in the day trading zones, power indicator, YouTube channel and the discord channel. Take care everybody, stay safe.